you doing? Do you know from the judge? Uh, no, not yet. But I, I think I won. Thanks uh, for telling the truth up there. I know it wasn't easy. Yeah. How did, uh, how did Sonny react? Did you guys fight? No, he didn't come home last night. I think he's really upset with me. Mm hmm been a long time. Yes, it has. It's always nice to hear from you, Sonny. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So, how you doing with, uh, Stephen Weber? You guys doing good? <laughs> so <sorry. laughs> Why don't you just ask me what you want? <laughs> you can always see right through me. Mm, I still can. Yeah. I assume this has to do with the custody hearing. Yeah. Um, I need a favor. I need you to help me make sure that Carly keeps her daughter. Look to Max. He wanted to let me know that Sonny's okay. He won't return my calls. Well, he's giving himself time to cool off. Can I give him a little bit of credit for that? I thought that you guys would have an all-out fight. Yeah. You would have liked that, right? No, of course not. I don't, I don't no, know I'm like just, that. I'm just saying that... I know you, you know, spent a lot of years trying to prove that Sonny is a criminal. And, uh, I know you think that I'm a fool for being with no, him. No, I don't think you're a fool. I don't. I think that you have the wrong idea about Sonny. And I don't think he's ever going to be the man you want him to be. I do have to say, I wish you would have left me out of this. Your testimony forced Carly to back down, okay? She confirmed the violence by stopping the judge from questioning Sonny. I didn't even have to call any other witnesses. Sonny's really hurt. Yeah. Yeah, well, Sonny always acts upset when he's confronted with the truth. And the truth is exactly what you, what you said you were shot at. And you said that your husband's line of work is dangerous. Okay? I've done everything I can to keep Jocelyn safe. I really hope that you find the courage to do the same for your child. I can't admit. <clears throat> okay, um, you want some coffee? All right. You and Jax, well, you guys have been, you, you know, yes. friends for a little while here, right? Yes. Right. It's a good job. Yes. And I know that you would never ask me to do anything that might screw it up, right? Okay, but you and I, we talk quite a bit, right? And we're friends. Sonny, Good friend. don't even ask me to be a spy for you because that's not going to happen. No, I'm not asking you to break the rules. I'm just saying if, if, if you happen to be talking to Jackson, he says something that's kind of important. Sonny, I just, well, maybe you could. I feel that. terrible for Carly and all this. Okay, I do. I really do, and I think that it's fantastic that you're trying to help her out in this. But this is not my fight. Oh. Okay, I'm not taking sides in this thing. You okay? But you gotta. Well, you and I have been friends a lot longer and than you. That, and that and that is exactly the problem because I know you. Mm -hmm. I know how you operate, Sonny. And I'm sorry to say it. I don't want anything to do with it. Okay. Okay. You are a kind, empathetic person. So you, out of anybody that I know, would you know, you would understand what it would feel like, right, to have somebody take your kid away from you. I would. I, mean, I would. I, wait. I would understand what it would feel. Yeah. Like, Sonny. Yeah. That is all that I thought about for the first twenty years of our child's life. Okay. So, so let me tell you how this would have gone. I would have fought you so hard and so dirty that you would have not known what hit you, and you would have never seen it coming. Mm-hmm. And I know damn well that's what you're about to do to Jax, okay? That's it. You didn't have to say anything. No. If it don't, don't say. No, I'm not saying. Don't say anything. Don't say another I'm word. I'm going to bite your Don't finger. say another word. No, okay? no. You know what? I don't you want know, to feel like I'm going to have to warn Jax about he anything. He is wrong, and you know it. You're not somebody to sit back and just let something unfair. See? I'm go. walking out the door, okay? This conversation okay. never okay. took place. Okay. Excuse me. Hi. Good to see you, too. Miss Yang. I told you I'd be here, Mr. Corintho, so here I am. Yeah, nice outfit you got. Really, you don't have to be nervous. Because, it's you know, we're clear. You're going to follow through, right? Because Jack's made a choice, and now it's my turn. Miss Yang. I don't have a 
choice, do I? No, you don't have a choice because there's proof that you took a low-dollar bribe from Jax and a more respectable bribe from me. So if you don't get results, like I said to you before, you will lose your license and you may even go to prison. But you know what happens in prison. So, if you do what I want, I will be satisfied and you will be home free. Okay, the rolling's gonna come down any minute. We don't know that because the judge can take as long as he wants. Okay, whatever you're doing, it has to happen before the judge makes a decision. I'm handling court. What are you handling, Sonny? Okay, you need to trust me. Jax is not gonna take Jocelyn. Just tell me what you're doing. If I tell you that, you're gonna go right in the middle. You're gonna mess everything up. Okay, you have no faith in me, but I'm supposed to no, have I faith in you. No, I do have you. faith in you because I know that you protected me at the hearing. And you know what? It could have hurt your, your case. I know that. I just didn't want you to have to relive what happened to Dante and Michael. Okay. Because Jax wants to prove I'm an unfit mother. You need to... T listen. Jax... Is not taking Jocelyn, and you're not going to lose your daughter. But he is taking her, and I am losing her right now. Okay, you need to go home, spend some time with Morgan and Jocelyn, take a walk, do whatever you need to take do. Take a walk? Yeah, take a walk. Yeah, you mean go home and hang out with Jocelyn because Jax is going to take her from if me. If I thought Jax was going to win, I tell you. Everything's falling his way. We don't know how many people he's paid off. He's got the momentum. I don't even think you can stop him. Sonny, to find your little boy because I believe children should be with their mothers. Why couldn't you have told the judge that? The judge didn't ask me that. The judge didn't ask you that. Mm -hmm. Wow. I hope you're never where I am now. I hope you never have to deal with losing your kid because of Sonny. You know, I am sorry that you, you told the judge that you and Alec got shot at. You're sorry that I told the judge the truth? There was no police report. You, you know, it was it happened on private property. Yeah, you know that I thought that the judge m may have already known, so you, you're saying that you wish I would have lied? You had a choice to keep quiet. You didn't do that. I wish you would have, because you, out of, you know... Anybody knows how hard it is to grow up without a mother. Oh. I ain't gonna go there. What's going on with you? You're mad, right? Uh, why aren't you yelling at I me? Don't, I feel like... Well, because I, I don't blame you. I blame Jax for putting you in this situation. Really? That's it? And, you know, I know that you wouldn't... You didn't mean to hurt Carly. You didn't mean to make me look bad. You, you, just, you told the truth as you see it. And... It's not your fault. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Why did you come home last night? Uh, I was had a conference call. It lasted a little longer. I was making arrangements. And... What kind of arrangements were you making? Well, I just thought it would be best if I stayed in the apartment that I have downtown. You have an apartment downtown? You know I have an apartment downtown. No, you know that I don't know you have an apartment downtown. Why didn't you take my calls last night either? I, I said I was I was working. I told Max to tell you that you know not to work. Why didn't you take my calls last night either? <sighs> this fight, you know, is not. It has to do with Jax and Carly. This custody thing it has nothing to do with us. That's the way I want to leave okay. it. Okay, I'm not buying this. There's something going on with you. You were really upset after the hearing, and I feel like you are suddenly more rational and reasonable. So I want you to tell me the truth, and I want you to tell me what is going on with you. Well, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your help in all this. You know, without you, it uh, could have gotten very ugly, and that's not good for my daughter. I just did what I thought was right. After what I saw at that hearing, I, I don't blame you for being so concerned for your daughter. Well, hopefully it'll all be over soon, so... Mm. 
Oh, um, can I offer you a cup of coffee or something? Thanks. I'll, I'll get it. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, kind of looking forward to uh, <clears throat> getting my life back. Spending some time with my daughter. Of course, I gotta find a place to live. Well, she is one lucky girl. Here. I think I remember that you like yours black. Perfect. Thank you. You think it can't be calm and reasonable? That kind of hurts my family. Really? Yeah. No, it just seems like you were really mad, and now I feel like something's, something's changed. Well, I've just been doing a lot of thinking. And, you know, and I realize that if we keep fighting like we're fighting, we're just going to play right into Jack's hands. Carly here. She's worried. I mean, she's a devastated mother, you know. But I don't, I don't that's fine, because she's not my wife. You are. Come here. Listen to me, okay? I'm sorry. Please, hurry! Come on! Please. 